We've got fire just to the west of us. We've all watched the video. We're watching this home just go up in flames right now. We've seen the heroic efforts to save lives. Broomfield or east, the fire's moving fast. It's considered the most destructive fire in Colorado history. Two billion dollars in damage, more than a thousand homes destroyed, and two Coloradans lost their lives. For months, investigators worked to confirm where it started, how it started, and to see if there was any potential criminal wrongdoing. Sheriff, when you dive into that report, is it accurate to say there are facts in there that raise questions about Excel's cooperation? Yes. For the first time in this exclusive interview, the sheriff of Boulder County is taking the gloves off and questioning decisions made by executives inside this building. Should ratepayers of Colorado be disappointed with Excel's transparency during this investigation? I can't speak for all ratepayers, but I know as someone who pays rates that I would expect more of a company that I provide that much money to. And the sheriff is not alone in challenging the public utility with a net worth nearing $36 billion. Are you surprised they don't want to answer our questions? I wouldn't say that I'm surprised. We also received candid insight from Boulder's district attorney and the forensic engineer who led the investigation into the cause of the fire. How confident are you in the conclusion you reached? In this case, I'm extremely confident. A report that concluded a wire on this Excel power line became detached. It produced electrical arcing. That arcing ignited the dry grasses below. This is a look at newly released cell phone video. It appears to support the conclusions of the lead investigator and raises questions about Excel's efforts to avoid accountability. Take a close look. You can see the unmoored power line clearly floating and detached from the power pole. It's video from moments after the start of what investigators officially labeled the second ignition point. Approximately one hour later, a second fire started just south of the Marshall Mesa trailhead. And as the sheriff indicated, it's more likely than not that that fire was caused by electrical equipment and wiring maintained by Excel. A conclusion Excel has publicly disputed. Minutes after Boulder's sheriff and DA announced the investigation's conclusions, Excel sent this press release that included, We strongly disagree with any suggestion that Excel Energy's power lines caused the second ignition. I am frustrated personally that Excel was not more forthcoming or expedient in providing information for this investigation. If Excel would have cooperated, could you have got to the conclusion faster? I believe so, months ago. Boulder County Sheriff says this text message from an Excel employee shows how the powerful power company worked to delay the investigation. Are you saying Excel didn't want you to see those text messages? I'm sure they would prefer we didn't see them. What's that say, Sheriff? Well, it, it says they have a financial interest in the outcome of this investigation. Denver 7 Investigates has obtained that text message sent minutes after the fire started at the second ignition point. They are texts sent by an Excel lineman. It reads, I think our lines may have started this fire east of El Dorado. That was the conclusion I reached by looking at it through my own eyes. Excel employee Ryan Gomes sent that telling text message, a message we've now learned Excel worked to keep from investigators, forcing the sheriff's team to issue a search warrant. Were you uh, aware of the search warrant uh, that we had issued to Excel requesting all text messages relating to that day? No, ma'am. And according to multiple sources close to the investigation, that was not Excel's only maneuver attempting to delay the investigation and potentially manipulate public opinion. We are told Excel blocked sheriff's investigators from interviewing key employees. And then there is this statement released the day after the fire. The Boulder County Office of Emergency Management said today that Excel has found no evidence of downed power lines around where the fire is believed to have started. Excel said there were no downed power lines on the 30th. There was a floating line and they didn't report that to the public. Is that a problem? I think that's a good question, and it's a question for Excel. And investigators point to that statement as an example of Excel keeping the entire story from the public. A downed power line is defined as a power line touching the ground. 
On the day of the fire, that floating line was not touching the ground, but according to the conclusion of the investigation, that floating line was responsible for sparking the second fire. Certainly a more complete communication from everybody involved in that would have been no down power lines, but there was a floating line located in the area, and that's going to have to be looked at. Our investigation is going to raise questions about Excel's cooperation during the investigation and its conclusion. Is that fair? Oh, it's fair to ask those questions. Uh, those are the questions that I think you, as a reporter and investigative journalist, have to ask. So now, 18 months have passed. The scars of the Marshall Fire remain as Excel continues to deflect while new information raises questions about a power company using its power to avoid accountability. If you could ask any Excel investigator connected with this report any question, what would it be? Why did it take so long for us to get the answers we were seeking? Excel's experts came up with one conclusion. Yours is about 180 degrees from that. Help me understand how and why. They didn't say anything that was wrong, but they didn't say everything that they could have said. And some of the things they said were just sort of misleading. 